Charleston is interesting, the rendezvous in Charleston is interesting because we get a lot of fly-ins and drive-ins and we get a lot of people who are just planning to do it and starting to uh, develop information on what they need to do and how to do it. And it's just, it's an interesting mix because, um, you know, if we had 16 boats, probably 30 people were staying at the marina and 100 were staying at the hotel. So it's a, a, a huge difference than the one we have later in the year where we'll have 60 or 70 boats and, and maybe 15 people fly or drive in. It's encouraging to come to one of these to, uh, if you're trying to decide whether you really want to do it, this is, is you, you do this and you say, yeah, I could do this. I, I've learned things today and, and yesterday that I never would have thought to ask. Yes. We're learning all kinds of things at this meeting. At these meetings. And also when on the websites and everything, you can pick up different tidbits if you got a question on something. You can check it out that way. There is no best. It's all wonderful. And every day it's different. So it's it's just really been enjoyable. All the different people we've met along the way. And plus you you, you meet some people along the way that are doing the loop. And it's amazing what a white flag would do. Yeah. It's really amazing what a white flag would do. Because we can identify each other when you're in the different marinas. Yeah, we were in uh, Hilton Head and our boat was there, she was out shopping, and I was just sitting around, we heard a knock, there were some people that saw the looper flag out that came in and introduced themselves. And that they had done the loop. That they had done the loop, and we were just chatting away with them. So yes, it's it's a wonderful organization. This is our second one. We went to one in October mm -hmm. and started learning, and then now we're just, we're trying to not make mistakes that other people have made. No reason to reinvent the wheel, as they, as they would say. Yeah. But yes, that's the main thing. And you learn, meet a lot of people that you can get information from, and you you meet them also on the trip. Yes. Yeah. It's really been helpful to us. So we're getting ready to start next September. So we have a few things that we need to finalize, and a few plans that we need to finalize yet. And so talking to everybody that's doing it now or have done it before is really helpful. Meeting new people has been great. Everyone is friendly. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an old-time car racer and I used to go to sports car races and you could meet people from anywhere in the country and they were all friendly. This is the same camaraderie in this group, so this is, this is really nice. here in Charleston at the Rendezvous. Uh, a lot of uh, old friends here? Yes, there are. Uh, some that we've met in the last couple of years and some we've known for four or five years. It's a fun thing to come to the Rendezvous and see old friends. When, when you see uh, uh, newcomers, uh, what, what are the most frequent questions they ask? How do you possibly spend that much time on a boat together? <laughs> <laughs> and your answer? Uh, it's a small boat. We have to learn how to get along. These rendezvous are, are not only important for the new people who are starting out and they can gain information. Um, for us, it keeps us involved. In other words, we come and we get all hyped up again about, oh yeah, I'm going to get back out on the boat and go cruising some more. And, and this just, I think, extends a lot of people's lives. It's a wonderful thing to do. When you, when you complete the loop and you have that experience, um, do you, uh, do you uh, serve as mentors or, or counselors to, to new folks? Uh, does that come about? That's the reason why we're at this loop. For us to gain more knowledge on the station that was here this morning on the uh, down eastern loop that we're wanting to do, but then we're here with all the new ones that some don't even have their boat purchased yet, and we feel that we can be an asset in helping them with what they are wanting to do that we did already. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of 
new members um, participate this spring who had never been to a rendezvous and found it a fantastic experience. Um, it, it rocked. It was just great. The people were wonderful. It was educational and fun and um, I think everybody's looking forward to the full rendezvous in October.